Engineer 775 here. We've had the uh, Solar Max products on our website for a while, and now I finally got one in my hands. I'm going to do some testing on the smaller Solar Max 3300 unit here from Total Solar Innovations. And I've gotten a few, a couple of these out of customers' hands, and they've been very happy with them. And uh, one of the reasons is the little simple cage that the system is in. It's in a metal cage. It does offer some EMP protection. Did a couple little quick tests via cell phone, radio, and uh, it was able to, it definitely has some shielding effectiveness where it knocked down the signal or you weren't able to receive a call or hear a signal on, on radio. So anyhow, we're about to open this up. Let's go ahead and open it. Show you what's inside, what you get with a Solar Max 3300. There's a variety of inverters, and uh, what you're gonna get is a 4,000 watt modified sign inverter. It says output capacity 5,000 watt max. It's a Ames inverter. You also get a pure sine wave 300 watt Ames inverter here for your critical electronics, those that aren't gonna be happy running off the modified. And you just plug them into the duplex receptacle. Got a 30 amp charge controller, and you've got some plugins. The other nice thing about it, you also have a battery maintainer, so you don't have to have this thing plugged into solar all the time to keep it, keep it, uh, keep it working. And so uh, it's got two Group 31 batteries. They're underneath here. We'll pull that off at some point. I'm not going to pull it off right now. We're going to do a little testing, and uh, it's again based on a 24 volt system. We've got solar panel that we've got to unbox here we haven't done that yet and I'm going to do some testing on loads and things and see how she performs so that's the solar max 3300 so far okay so right out of the box she's ready to go uh, I just plugged in a, a grinder that uses about 800 watts no problem starting it on any one of these receptacles here so that's easy enough. So ready to go. You also have a terminal block that you can wire uh, to uh, a cord or to a breaker. And again, have a licensed electrician do that. Or you can take full power, the full four to 5,000 watts out of that inverter. And again, it's a 5,000 watt max 24 volt inverter. So you're only gonna get 1,500 watts per each receptacle, but that's usually good enough to run most of the things that you should be running off of this system with the, only the two batteries. So, excellent. So far, so good. Let's uh, work on the solar next. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is that it's charging uh, the batteries off of solar. You'll see the solar is easy, standard duplex receptacles and a 50-foot cord that is hooked to standard MC4 connectors, the solar connectors, so it's all plug and play. You just plug your solar panel into the cord. They're male and female, you can't get them backwards. So the polarities are fixed, you can't mess that up. And we were at 25 volts and we're up to 25.4. Just it's 4.30 in the afternoon and it's charging away on a partially shaded panel. So it's working great, charging away. And 24 volt currents were current. We're putting a couple amps in to the battery, so everything seems to be working as planned. And again, if you don't want to hook up the solar panel, and uh, you only want to use your solar panel in an emergency situation, you have this 24 volt onboard charge controller you can just plug into, plug into the grid as a maintainer, as a battery tender, to keep the two batteries floated, ready to go when you need it. So. That's it, very simple system, plug and play, literally up and running in less than five minutes. Just plug things in. Uh, the hand truck comes with it, you do have to assemble the hand truck, which takes all of two minutes. And you got a set of instructions, it shows you what everything is, and how to, how to start it up, and it's got all the manuals on the inverters and everything else. Because if you want to get fancy and do and hook up all the power, then you can and we'll show you how to do that 
and there are remote controls and all sorts of things that you could do through through Ames Corporation if you wanted to. But that's it, the Solar Max 3300, out of the box, ready to go, has a great emergency solar battery backup system. We've got a, well, it comes with a single solar panel. I forgot the wattage, I think it's a 250 watt. It's a 230, excuse me. We have a 230 watt polycrystalline uh, solar panel, solar module there. So fully self-contained system, ready to go. This is Engineer 775, signing out.